Hello guys, welcome back to Last Moment Tuitions. I am Dhruvi and today we will be learning about line and load regulation. So before diving directly into it, let us first understand what does a voltage regulator do. So voltage regulator main aim is to maintain the output voltage. Maintain the output voltage. That is to maintain the output voltage as constant that we receive. Okay. So throughout it should be the same. Now, what are the different conditions that we need to work upon? First is that even though if the input changes, the output voltage should be constant. And second is even though if the load resistance changes, that is RL changes, it should maintain the output voltage. Okay, so these are the two conditions that we need to work upon. So basically these are the conditions that are named as line and load regulation. So let us first see into what is line regulation. Line regulation is the ability of the power supply to maintain its specified output voltage that is this one right to maintain the output voltage over changes in the input line voltage C. Even though if the input voltage changes the output should remain constant that does line regulation okay. So what is it expressed as? It is expressed as percent of change in the output voltage relative to the change in the input line voltage. That is, you can say the expression for line regulation is equals to, see, change in the output voltage. So, change in the output voltage upon change in the input line voltage, okay, into 100 for percent, okay. So, this is the formula for line regulation. Now ideally what do we want is that the change that is V delta V out that is the change even though changing the input voltage the output voltage should not change it should remain constant. So ideally the value of line regulation should be equals to 0%. This is the ideal value that we need. Okay. Now let's dive on to the RL change point. Load regulation. Load regulation is the ability of the power supply to maintain its specified output voltage. That is what we mentioned. What is our aim? So this is our aim. Provided that even though there is a change in the load. Yani ki load change hua. Load ke values, resistance ke values change hone par bhi. The value of the output voltage should remain constant. Okay. So iska bhi ek formula hai. That formula is VNL minus VFL upon VFL into 100 for percent. Okay. Now, what is VNL VFL? Now, RL ka value change ho sakta hai from no load to full load. No load matlab, there is no load resistance. Okay. So, VNL means voltage at no load. Ab no load, no resistance, it means that it implies that it is an open circuit. Right. Open circuit mein resistance is what? Infinity. Correct. So, that is VNL. And VFL means full load. Matlab, maximum value of resistance. So, VNL minus VFL upon VFL into 100 will give you the value of load regulation. Now, again, the ideal value for this should also be 0%. Okay. So, this was a very brief introduction to what does a voltage regulator do and what are the conditions and therefore, we dived on to line regulation and load regulation. So, let's look more deep into it. Okay. So, line regulation, this is the diagram, circuit diagram for line regulation, okay. What we studied in line regulation is, ki tumhara input voltage change ho sakta hai, right? But tumhara output voltage change nahi hona chahiye. So, therefore, humara input voltage kya ho hai? Change ho hai, right? RL will be constant over here. So, what can we infer from this diagram is, hume kya chahiye? V output, right? V output. Now, this V output is equals to what? V, Z, Y because RL is connected in parallel, right? So, that is connected in parallel. Therefore, the output voltage is equals to V, Z, okay? This is constant. This is our aim, okay? Now, why is this constant? Since it is connected in parallel, okay? So, now here we see that there are different voltages V, N. Now, here V, N is changing, right? It is not constant, it is changing and therefore the current that goes through this that is the I 
also will change right so due to change in the input voltage the i changes now next is that we have our resistance as fixed this is fixed resistance okay so fixed resistance hai to uske through jo current ja raha hai yani ki il will also be fixed right that is a particular constant hoga right now using the law we say that i is equals to iz plus il okay now this i is changing right there is a change in this i but we know that this il is fixed so what do you think iz should be fixed or it should change to get a changed output yes it definitely should be changing right so this value should be changing now let us consider apna zener diode okay to zener diode ka characteristic kuch aisa hai uska graph aisa kuch hai jab wo vz pe hai right to kya ho raha hai ki ek aur ye yahan par current hai right i minimum and i max okay so so we can say that agar iz ka value is varying between i minimum and i max okay to us time pe hame vz kya milta hai constant you can see in this graph if the value of i is changing from i minimum to i maximum we are getting value constant right vz constant and vz constant hai matlab directly implies that hamara output bhi kya rahega constant vo ओके, सो दिस वाज अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू लाइन रेगुलेशन यूजिंग जीना डायोड का एनालिसिस नाउ सिमिलरली विल मूव ऑन टू लोड रेगुलेशन ओके लोड रेगुलेशन में हम क्या कर रहे हैं द वैल्यू ऑफ आरएल इज चेंजिंग फ्रॉम नो लोड टू फुल लोड देयर फोर इट इज वेरिंग ओके एंड वी इन अपना कॉन्स्टेंट है अगेन यहां पर जो वी आउटपुट होगा दैट विल बी इक्वल टू वी जेड राइट सिंस इन पैरल ओके सो दिस शुड कम आउट टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू दिस इज आर एम ओके नाउ वी इन दिस इज कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ right and since this is constant the current flowing through this i will also be constant correct so this is also constant but the value of rl is changing so since rl is changing the current through it will also vary right so il is also changing now again current ko add karna hai i is equals to iz plus il correct now i kya hai apna constant hai theek hai il apna changing hai राइट अब आई एल चेंजिंग है तो फाइनल हमें क्या होना चाहिए आईजेड का वैल्यू वेरी यानी कि चेंज होना चाहिए तभी जाके हम सेटिस्फाई कर सकेंगे कंडीशन को एंड आईजेड कौन से वैल्यू में चेंज होना चाहिए सिमिलरली आई मिनिमम टू आई मैक्सिमम यानी कि आईजेड का वैल्यू इफ इट वेरीज बिटवीन आई मिनिमम टू आई मैक्सिमम वी विल गेट कॉन्स्टेंट बी जेड एंड कॉन्स्टेंट बी जेड डि नोट दैट वी गेट कॉन्स्टेंट आउटपुट ओके यानी कि इवन दो वी चेंज द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस फ्रॉम नो लोड टू फुल लोड हमारा अगर आई जेड का वैल्यू इट इफ इट वेरीज फ्रॉम आई मिनिमम टू आई मैक्सिमम हमारा वी जेड कॉन्स्टेंट आएगा एंड सिंस वी जेड इज इक्वल टू वी अपना आउटपुट भी कॉन्स्टेंट आएगा सो गाइज फॉर एनी क्वेरीज यू कैन राइट टू अस इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एंड प्लीज डू शेयर दिस विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय